Hey guys, welcome back to Dude We Can Build It. Today we're going to walk you through the electrical rough in on this house. The service entrance is where electricity enters the home. Once we are done with the trim out and this building is ready to be occupied, the utility company will simply put a meter here and activate the electricity into the home. So the meter can itself, which is this part right here, is normally at six feet or eye level, depending on the code. Ours is at six foot. That makes it easy for the meter reader to come in and visually inspect. So the ground rods are in place and they're attached with number six wire and acorn clamps. The service protrudes through the wall inside of a conduit, which is sealed up with silicone. We have our subfeeders pulled to our interior panels. The auxiliary panels are installed and all the wire is loomed into the panel. We went a step further and installed all the breakers and terminated all of our home runs. So you see all of our home runs are terminated into the breakers here and also in the neutral and ground lugs inside the panel. For your rough end inspection, all you actually need is these wires set into here. You can loom them around, which by that I just mean to loop them around where you have plenty of excess, shove them in this panel and that will get you through the rough end inspection. Outlet boxes are hung at a height of 16 inches from the floor. In the kitchen where we have kitchen counters, our outlet boxes and switch boxes have to be above the counter but below the cabinets. So the bottom of the box is set at 42 inches for both outlets and switch boxes for the cabinet height boxes. The top of our light switch boxes is at 54 inches. These little nipples here are 3 eighths of an inch. So when you install this box, simply set it here and push it back until they come in contact with the stud. Once they're in contact with the stud, drive your two nails. This will ensure that when you hang your sheetrock, this box will be flush with the finished surface or just slightly under flush and not too recessed into the hole or too far out as to cause a protrusion in your finished product. The length of your wire should extend out of the box at least eight inches. This gives you plenty of wire when you hang your devices such as outlets and switches. Also note inside of the box, your wire sheathing, this PVC jacket, which is either white, yellow, or orange, should extend into the box to make sure that the wire is protected all the way into this enclosure. Now we're just going to roll this wire up and set it back in the box until trim out. Make sure to push the wire all the way to the back of the box. That way when they come through and they hang sheetrock, a lot of times they'll use a router inside of here. You do not want that router bit to tear up your wires. Next, we need to make sure that our wires are properly secured. We have a staple within eight inches of the box and then every four foot after that first staple. Down here, you'll see that our wire is going through studs. When you drill holes through studs, make sure to drill in the center of the stud. That way when you hang your sheetrock, screws cannot penetrate into the wire from either side side. High powered appliances such as dishwashers, microwaves, and refrigerators receive their own dedicated circuits. This outlet here is dedicated for the dishwasher. This is the only outlet on this circuit and it goes straight back to the breaker panel and has its own breaker. This outlet is dedicated for the microwave. And this outlet is dedicated to the refrigerator. The white wire is 14 gauge Romex. It's rated for 15 amps and is usually used for lighting circuits. The yellow wire is 12 gauge Romex, which is rated for 20 amps and usually used for receptacles. Last but not least is the orange wire. This is 10 gauge wire that is rated for 30 amps. This is reserved for higher output appliances such as clothes dryers. So that's all of our key points for our electrical rough in. While we're waiting on this to get an inspection done, we're going to start working on the plumbing, getting all of our water pipes in and getting all of our vent stacks out of the building. Mm -hmm. 